What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna learn how to do this really cool render and super quick, I hope. So let's jump to it. Alright. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to delete that light. Um, you're gonna leave the camera as it is and you're gonna make this cube smaller. Scale it Y. Nice. You're gonna duplicate that same cube. Actually, wait, before that, let's make it a little bit thinner. Yep, and then now duplicate it again. Nice. And now we are going to do this situation here, the same one. I'm guessing you guys are following along. And then select that one. Yes. Move it here, like so. Actually, you know what? Let's have a little more space. Yeah. And then <coughs> we're gonna push it here. Done. That looks nice. Perfect. Now let's create a plane. Plane. Plane create it. Yes. Nice. Push it down. Now you're gonna create a light, an area light. You're gonna push it up. And you're gonna scale it. So it's S5 to scale it. Push it outside of the camera frame. Go to your Z view. You're gonna. Oh, before that, you want to go to custom distance, shadows, contact shadows, change this for 500, and then change the color to something like that. Go to the render view and then move your light like so. Well, you duplicate that light. Let's duplicate it again and move it to the side. Right there. Oh, yes. Perfect mundo. Now go here to DSLR camera, ambient occlusion, screen, thingy, shadows, thingy, boom. Cool. Now select everything and tone it down like so. I mean, I don't know. Remember, we're just playing. Why, why would you remember if I never said it? <laughs> God damn. Okay, cool. Um, so now we are going to duplicate this thing here push it here and then we're gonna do something like this and then like this and then push it up push to the right right there now go here oh wait forgot um, you want to make this a little bit smaller and then push it forward kind of like right there in the middle yes and then you want to add a modifier to that that's any array go to the X fuck. go to the X view right here and you want to move it to the Y actually make this a little bit smaller to that point yes and go for a seven seven is good scale it a tiny bit more and then what we are looking for is actually before we do this let's apply a scale to this stuff forgot and then you want to um, add a booleana and then you want to select that stuff apply you want to now move this and you want to place it kind of like in the same spot try to like yeah and then you're gonna add the same thing booleana we do the same thing done grab it again push it down push it to the right and then make them a little bit bigger like so yes and then I'll change it for 12 why I don't know do the same thing booleana do the same thing apply now you don't need it because we're good now another thing that we're gonna add here we're going to create a cube you want to scale it push it forward go to your Y view Push it here, yada yada yada. And now that it's here, you guys see, you see what I'm doing? Nice. Um, let's make it a little bit smaller, like so, and kind of like a small rectangularo. And then let's move it here in the corner, like so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Push it a little bit forward, and you're gonna add the same thing, Boolean. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do these things, but we're going with the flow. 
I have no idea what we are doing. So, boolean, press it here, go apply, get rid of it, done, cool. So now we have this, nice. Now, another thing that we're gonna do is select it, Control A to scale again, one more time. And now what we're gonna add is we're gonna add a bevel. Uh, bevel makes things look nice that looks like shit so you don't want that so for the segments let's add about three that makes things a little bit s smoother and offset we're gonna go 0 0.05 um, my bad no it's not that 0 0.002 how about that yes 0 0.002 there we go let's add another one I know there's a way to do this um faster I can guarantee you there is ways to do this faster but i don't know how to use this software kind of see what am i doing yes bevel 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 it is segments about three we go back here 0 0.002 yes those numbers are pretty good because you're gonna get a little bit of that nice softness right there nice perfect now that we have this now what we need is we need a controller so we're going to create a controller here so we're creating a um a another cube right and scale it why controller supposed to like we're trying to make it as minimalistic as possible which i don't think i we have achieved that <laughs> um so scale it and now you're going to select this corners right here like so go back here you want to bevel bevel the edges and then right here on the bottom go for five because we want this to be smooth as fuck um, now um, go here so like this I I will help you do this stuff and then scale it I not so much tiny bit and then extrude it then small it nice cool now we're gonna add a texture to this so that same material and then to the same material we're gonna add another one and then we're gonna go, go to base color to that specular all the way up roughness all the way down we're gonna select that screen and then boom so let's pretend this is kind of like a like a touch screen type of situation let's make this a little bit bigger just a tiny bit nothing really crazy and let's place it somewhere here that way you see a little bit of that reflection looks pretty cool so you have everything like that but yeah that's pretty much um, you can actually well if you guys want to add a little bit more things to this um, we can go here create a mesh cylinder GYX like so and then push it up like that like that whoa whoa what happened all right cool so now go here yeah i was gonna stop and the other one i was like hmm should i just stop it there and i was like no i think we can do something better so let's apply a scale apply a scale to this uh, shade smooth to the controller um and then you're gonna go to edge split so everything is become gonna become smooth i guess i don't know it's split to everything and then now we're gonna add a bevel to it um, nope add a bevel to it bevel yes bevel is nice let's add another bevel bevel, bevel right here cool uh, actually we're not gonna add a bevel to the little button right here what we are going to do is we're gonna select the this thing so and we're gonna bevel this so now you have a little bit of this weird button but for some reason um what is it okay okay so yeah you want to bevel it but you want to change the segments to one um that way you get a little bit of of that stuff but let's go back and bevel it again and to that point and then let's push it down shade smooth and then now apply the edge split and then you're good to go so um Let's get a little bit closer and let's just say that there's a thingy here another one um but a little bit smaller and then we push it a little bit up a 
little bit to this place and then kind of like right there and then move both of them a little bit down like right there yeah let's see and then push it up and then another thing that we can add is that you know controllers need to be charged one way or the other so do the same thing i scale it, i think it's sorry y and then right there scale it up right there yada 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 e for extrude extrude ex extrude and then boom there we go all right guys so this is it um hopefully you guys follow along with me um if not <laughs> shit i need to do another one uh but yeah so make sure to follow me on instagram or tag me on instagram which i'm gonna put it down in the description down below uh i want to see what you guys created um you know uh, you can always do different things uh but yeah this is kind of like a basic thing and it still looks pretty cool i don't know um so yeah uh let me know what you guys think drop a comment do all that good stuff stay safe and i'll see you guys soon later yes